Now, why is it important to have this core of 12 facts that virtually all critical scholars, this is not evangelicals here, we're talking virtually all right. critical scholars out there, let's drive this in. First of all, why do they accept this data? Well, I think they accept it because it comes on good grounds. Uh, today, Paul is widely accepted, as Tony has said, virtually everything in the list can be established by Paul alone, and everybody thinks something can be gathered from the Gospels and Acts here and there. So I think it comes on good evidence. Now, why these 12? This is just something that I came up with in, in Historical Jesus. Others might have a list that's longer or shorter. And if people question these, Gary, from what I understand in your book, is all of these 12, oh, there's sure. a ton of evidence that supports oh, all yes. of these from history. We can, and we take can a get look into at, that as well. We can look at any one of them. And now, Tony, you would agree that these 12 facts are accepted by the scholars. Yeah. All right. Yes. Now, the question is, we've got these facts. Now, what conclusion do we draw from them? Tony, right. what do you draw from this? Um, from this alone, uh, leaving out Paul, um, nothing of any great interest. Um, now, 